Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. So today I am going to tell you one of the amazing stories of companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the companion today is Hazrat Abu Ubaidah bin Jarrah, and the name of the story is the love of Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So let's get started. Hazrat Abu Ubeda was from Quraysh and he lived in Makkah. He was one of the first few people who accepted Islam. He was a very good-looking man and he faced many difficulties in the way of Allah after he accepted Islam. His real test came in the Battle of Badr. In the Battle of Badr, Hazrat Abu Ubeda fought very bravely. He entered the army of disbelievers fighting them very bravely and one man kept on coming in front of him and Hazrat Abu Ubeda turned away from him each time. It seemed that he was trying not to kill him. And this man kept on coming in front of him and finally there presented a situation in which Hazrat Abu Ubaidah had no way except to kill this man. Hazrat Abu Ubaidah lifted his sword and killed that man and continued fighting. Do you know who that man was? He was the father of Hazrat Abu Ubaidah bin Jarrah and was a disbeliever or kafir who came with Quraysh to kill the Muslims. Hazrat Abu Ubaidah kept the love of Allah and his messenger on top of everything else. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals ayah of Surah, Muja Surah Mujadila, ayah number 22, in which he said, You shall not find people who believe in Allah and last day befriending, befriending those who oppose Allah and his messenger, even though they be their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their kindred. That means that like the people who love Allah and his messenger the most, they do not make friends with the people who are disbelievers, even if they are their fathers or sons or brothers. And the ayah continues. So Allah continues to say that he has inscribed faith in their hearts, in the hearts of those people, and has strengthened them with spirit from him. And he shall make them enter gardens beneath which rivers flow therein they shall abide allah is well pleased with them and they are well pleased with allah they belong to allah's party and verily allah's party shall prosper so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really you know um uh, liked um what he did and he uh like kind of like he praised him for that like because the True believers, there for them, the love of Allah and His Messenger is on top of everything. They just keep the love of Allah and His Messenger on top of the love for their family, for their uh, father. So, Hazrat Abu Ubeda, he uh, first tried to, you know, uh, set aside like he tried to avoid killing his father, but when he kept on coming in front of him, he just did not, um, you know, it, that did not stop him from killing him. So, he did that. So um, that was the story of Hazrat Abu Ubaidah bin Jarrah who was one of the first few people who accepted, who accepted Islam in Mecca and had to face a lot of problems. Now you know about him, um, you know, you should just uh, do some research about him, read more about him in the books about companions of Rasulullah. And I hope you enjoyed the story, share it with your family and friends and I'll inshallah see you in the next one. Till then, fi